guys, today on A Beautiful Nest TV, we'll show you one of my wash and go routines using the Max Hydration Method. So first you want to start off with freshly washed or clarified hair. Um, here I am using my Bentonite clay mixture with a little bit of water. I'll put a link um, down in the description box below so that you can see how to make the Bentonite clay mixture. You want to work the clay into the hair and what you want to do is make sure that you are not disturbing the natural curl pattern that you're working in small sections and really getting those curls to clump together you don't want to you know separate the curls too much just pull your hair um, working the clay down the hair shaft and slowly but surely you'll get it I'm going to shake my head and um, release the curls. And I've washed my hair with um, lukewarm water. I'm going to clip my hair out of the way in small sections and then I'm going to apply my homemade flaxseed gel. And I'll leave a description for my flaxseed gel recipe down below. But in small sections, I will take the flaxseed gel and work it in slowly into the section. This is not something that you want to do if you're rushing or if you're trying to, you know, you have somewhere to go. You want to do this when you're relaxed, when you have time to work with your hair. This is your spa day for your hair. You really need to take time and um, follow each step properly with the Max Hydration Method. Um, I did not do the Cherry Lola because my hair was um, in pretty good condition to start with. So I went straight into um, clarifying and then I moved on from there. I work the homemade flaxseed gel into the hair, work it all the way around. And you just want to keep your curls clumped together. And you know, while you're working the gel into the hair, you're going to find little single strand knots. Like that. And they'll be there. But you just work through them. Try not to break them. You don't want to break your hair. And here I am with my hair completely done with all of my gel and the curls are set. So now I'm going to diffuse my hair. It is the next day and it is time to stretch my hair. Alright, so I'm going to stretch my hair now. I'm going to pull the hair taut down. Just like that, pulling the ends of the hair um, gently. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my blow dryer on a medium uh, heat setting um, or a high setting. It just depends on you and your hair. But I'm using medium. I'm just going to run the blow dryer down the hair shaft, starting from the root to the tip. This elongates my curls and it stretches the curl out. Um, right now, I just particularly like my hair stretched. I don't really like it um, in its shrunken state. So this is what I do. You don't have to do this if your hair doesn't need to be stretched. If it doesn't um, require stretching, don't stretch it. But for me, I really like to stretch it. And as you can see, I obtained a lot more length um, when I did that. all of my curls stretched and I'm going to now take a pick and fluff my hair and scrunch my hair and give my hair lots of volume. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial and um, 
Make sure you check out all of the links down below. Give this video a thumbs up um, if you like it and make sure you subscribe. Check out our blog. See you later guys.